Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to be learning how to add categories to a product. Now with Magento, you can create a category structure that suits your business, your products, and ultimately your customers. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create categories in Magento, how to assign one or more categories to a product, and finally, how to see which categories have which products assigned to them. That's right. So with that said, let's jump across to Magento and we'll meet up there with you in a few moments time. In a previous tutorial, we created an outdoor dining set. Now we don't really have any suitable categories for that. So that's the example which we're going to use during this tutorial. So we stuck it in books. <laughs> <laughs> so we stuck it in books. We're really, it needs to go into a more apt category. So to create categories in Magento is really simple to do. So if you go to catalog and then manage categories from the top menu, and you'll see here on the left hand side, there's a section in here called home decor and then books and music. And then if we go to category products, we'll find that we put the dining set in there. And that's not really the best place for that to live. So that's the example product which we're going to be using. And of course, in your case, I'm sure that you've got one or more products which you would like to categorize differently. So let's go back to the general information tab. Now, Dave, we're going to create a top level category and there's two huge tips here for you. The first one is to click on default category. You click on default category when you want to create new top level categories for your Magento website. The second huge tip is that click on add subcategory and do not click on add root category. Root categories are meant for different Magento websites, whereas add subcategory is meant for creating subcategories to an existing root category, which we already have, and it's called default category, and that's why I said click on that one first. Anyway, let's go and click the add category button. Now we need to name that category. So in our case, we're gonna call that garden and patio. Now we want that category to be active. So where it says is active, we're going to choose yes. Now Magento does support many features for when it comes to the description, the page title, you can add category images and so on and so forth. And we cover these off in the advanced tutorials over at Understanding E. But for right now, we're just gonna make the point that you can name your category, you can mark it as being active, and then down at the bottom, if you would like this category to be included in the navigation menu, then you're gonna to want to set that to yes. Now there are some additional settings within the display settings tab. Now where it says is anchor, that means that you want that category to appear at the top of the Magento menu. So where it says is anchor, choose yes, and then press save category in the top right hand corner. So that's the first category added, but we want to add some separate or subcategories to garden and patio. So make sure that you've got garden and patio selected or whatever category you've just been in created in your Magento system. Then click on add subcategory where it says name, enter the name, have that set as is active. And remember down at the bottom, make sure that it's set to include a navigation menu. Now for this one, you don't need to go into display settings and set that as is anchor. So let's go back to general information and press save category. Now we're gonna add one more category. And by the way, there's no real restrictions in Magento on how many categories you can have and how deep your categories can go as well. So let's add one more. So we're gonna click on add subcategory where you've got the name field. We have popped in furniture sets. We're gonna set that as active. And I know that the include navigation menu is already ticked as yes down at the bottom. So we're gonna go and press save category. Now with those categories created, and of course you would go on and add in your own category structure, which suits your products, your business, and your customers. Now for us, that's enough for this purposes of this tutorial. Let's go and add a product to these new categories. Can we go and add a book to it? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to catalog and then manage products. And that's a complete reverse, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be doing things the wrong way. 
There's me being serious, but you're right. Your categories, you can put products in whichever categories you see fit. Now there's that dining set which we mentioned earlier. So let's click into that product. Then on the left hand side where it says categories, click into categories. And then this is where you're going to see the category structure which we had a few moments ago. And we added in several new categories. And you'll see that I'm clicking on the plus icon next to each of the categories until we get to the bottom. Now a little tip here is that you may only want that product to appear in furniture sets but we're guessing that you would also like that product to appear on the category pages not only for garden and patio but also garden and patio furniture and finally in furniture sets. Now you can also add products to more than one category tree so you can see where we were joking earlier we added this products to home and decor and then books and music but you could also add it to many other categories whatever seems fit for this product to sit in or you can also remove them by unticking those check boxes and then once you've finished press save in the top right hand corner now there's one other place which I kind of pointed out earlier, Dave, where we can see which products are in which categories. So if we go to catalog and then manage categories, then on the left hand side, can you see that we've got one product in that furniture set? And if I scroll across, we've also only got one product in the garden and patio furniture, and we've only got one product in the garden and patio category as well. Now to find out which products are in that category, so let's go and click on garden and patio furniture if you click on the category products tab at the top you'll then see that we've got this one dining set in here oh so that's really cool so we can see exactly what products are in a category from this page now can we say add products in from this page or do we have to go back to the inventory Good question, Dave. You can add products from this page. Now, a little tip for you where it says yes, drop that down and then choose any. OK, that's my big tip for you. So yes means that, yes, the products are in this category. If you choose no, then that will find products which are not in this category. Or my suggestion is just choose any because then you can see the tick box on the left hand side. So if you then press search, on the right hand side you'll then see all the products which you have available in your Magento website so if you wanted the my bundle product to appear in this category then you would tick it on the left and of course you can carry on you can also search by name or the stock number or the price range to narrow the results down and then press search to remake the search and once you've finished editing remember to press save category at the top so Dave, let's jump across to our Magento website and see if we've got this product in our website. So let's go across to the home page. There we go. So we've got our new category called garden and patio. We've got our garden and patio furniture. Oh, and there's also our furniture sets as well. So let's click into furniture sets. Excellent. There's our furniture set. And we can, of course, then click into that product and any other products which we added would also appear here. Now, you may come across to your Magento website and notice that your new category structure has not been added and the same for your products to your Magento website. Now, firstly, don't panic. This is either down to Magento indexes or the Magento cache. So, Dave, I'm going to nip over there to those sections just to point them out, just in case that's affecting you. It's really simple to do. So if you jump back to your Magento admin and then go to system and then go to cache management, then on the left hand side, click on select tool and then press submit on the right hand side. Also, you can clear out the Magento cache and also the cache storage using the two red buttons on the right hand side. So let's click OK and those have been cleared out. Also, you may want to check system and then index management and then on the left hand side click on select all and then press submit on the right hand side that will take a few moments to go through once it's finished go back to your Magento website right click and then choose reload or press the refresh icon on your Magento website and Dave if we go through the top menu now can you see that we've got an ugly URL at the top Catalog, Category, View, S, Furniture Sets, ID 58. Not very pretty. 
No. If we go to garden and patio, we go to garden and furniture and then furniture sets this time around, you'll now see that the URL has been rewritten at the top. And then when we click into the product, we'll also have a nice URL for our product too. And the reason why that happened is because number one, we cleared our caches out. So the Magento website was told to be updated. And number two, we re-indexed Magento. So all the URL rewrites were rewritten. So for this product, which didn't have one and those categories which were new, now have nice looking category URLs at the top. So if I go into garden and patio furniture, a category which we haven't been into before, then instead of seeing that horrible URL, We've got a nice one now where it says garden hyphen patio, garden hyphen patio hyphen furniture dot HTML. So with that said, for myself, Matt. And for me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.